Hey everybody, we're getting into the holiday season. This is Joe at Complete Carnivore, by the way. And uh, <clears throat> it's time to start cooking hams, start cooking turkeys, prime ribs, uh, and big hunks of meat, because we gotta feed a lot of people. Uh, we got Thanksgiving dinner, we got Christmas dinner, we got other parties. Um, this is a ham from Porter Road. If you're not familiar with them, they're based out of the uh, Tennessee area. They work with some local uh, farms around the area. Uh, and uh, they sell really high quality meat. It's one of the, some of the best tasting beef I've ever had. Uh, their steaks are amazing. Um, they're not grated, so you're not, gonna, you're not gonna see prime or American Wagyu, you're not gonna see any of that. It's just really good tasting meat. Um, I think I've had some of their pork before, but I'm trying to remember if I have or not. I've had some bacon and sausages, things like that. First time trying one of their hams. I've tried hams from other places like Snake River Farms. Um, not a huge fan of their ham. A lot of people love it. I think it just has too much going on. I think I get some juniper flavors, and it's it's almost like almost like corned beef flavors in their ham. Some people love it, which is is good for them. That's great, but I want to try one of these. These look don't look like there's a lot going on on it. There's not a lot. It doesn't look like a lot of seasoning, anything like that. We're gonna do a pretty simple glaze on this today. Um, it's gonna be mustard, probably maple syrup, and brown sugar, and we'll cook all that together, coat it all, roast it up for a couple hours and uh, see how it tastes. But let's just get this thing open. And it's fully cooked, so I'm gonna take a little taste of it and just see what I think. This is about a, how big is this? 5.85 pounds? Yeah, 5.85 pounds, so almost close to six pounds. You could probably feed, I don't know, 10 people with this. So depending on the size of your holiday gathering, one of these could be a great option. So. Um, let me get the wrapper off. We'll pat it dry a little bit. Um, like I said, it should only take a couple hours to cook. It's fully cooked right now. Uh, we just got heated up. But I am going to... Uh, let's cut off a little piece from right here. We're going to taste this and see how it tastes. Like I said, it doesn't look like there's a lot of other seasonings uh, going on. Mm. That is very tasty. It's a pretty basic ham. I mean, it's pretty simple. Not a lot going on flavor-wise other than the ham itself, which is delicious. Very good texture on it. Ingredients, pork water, salt, sugar, celery powder. So use the celery powder for curing. Mm -hmm. Get the nitrites in there. That's good. I'm looking forward to glazing this up, cooking it up, and we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm going to cut right now. We'll be back in a little bit. Um, show you put in the show what I do for the glaze and we'll get it in the oven. And we'll show you what this Porter Road ham turns into. So we'll be back in a couple minutes. All right, we're back. We're ready to put this, get this glaze put together. Um, again, this is a boneless ham. You can do this with a bone-in ham. You can do it with anything you want. Um, let's make some fancy cross hatches. Just want to kind of score the fat cap here. We'll do cuts this way, we'll do cuts the other way. Help the uh, the glaze to get down in there. More surface area, more glaze. That's never a bad thing. So we'll just kind of come all the way around this fat cap. I don't want to worry too much about scoring the meat um, itself. So we'll just get this part here. That's about it. And then we'll go, go back and go this way. Kind of just makes it look nice. If you wanted to you could put stick cloves in here uh, I'm not gonna worry about that it's kind of a pain to pick them all out and then if you end up eating a clove that's not really the best thing ever but nothing fancy there just simple crosshatch all right we got about half a cup of uh, brown sugar in here I'm gonna add half a stick of butter oh about half a cup of maple syrup this is the good stuff that seems like about half a cup. You could use honey if you want, if you don't want to use maple sugar or maple syrup. You could use maple sugar for that matter. And about a half cup of mustard. Most recipes call for Dijon mustard for something like this, but I really don't like Dijon mustard. So we're just going with the good old yellow mustard. You could add cinnamon to this. You could add nutmeg, cloves, whatever you want to this, but we're just going to keep it simple. We'll get this mixed up and then we'll kind of just 
drizzle it over the uh, over the ham and kind of rub it in. Get, kind of try to get in all the cracks there. And we'll be basting this, so it's I mean the stuff dripping down is fine. Probably gonna be a mess. I should have covered this pan in foil, but oh well. So we'll just get all that out on the ham. That should be wonderful. And we're gonna put this in the oven's about 250. Want to put it in for about 90 minutes. Um, we'll put some water in the bottom here, kind of help steam things up a bit. Um, like I said, about 90 minutes at 250. We'll see where it is. We'll baste it every 20, 30 minutes or so. Um, then probably crank the temperature up to 300, 350, uh, just to get it cooked and done. So should take about two hours. Uh, we'll see if we uh, check in on it during the cooking or if I just show you when we're all done. But um, again, simple glaze, mustard, maple syrup, and uh, brown sugar and butter so nothing super fancy there but should be delicious should be a lot of flavor nice should give a nice sweet crust um i might grab a basting well i'll just use my hand how's that there's a couple parts here that i wanted to get a little more on that's a good thing about using gloves you don't have to worry about your hands being messy so you can just take the gloves off afterwards so all right that should do it we're gonna get this in the oven and we'll be eating in probably two two and a half hours Probably going to roast up some sweet potatoes and make a sweet potato casserole to go with this. Um, the kids love cranberries, canned cranberry sauce, so we'll do that. Be a pretty traditional Thanksgiving side if you're doing going that way. So, yeah, we'll check back in in a bit, and we'll let you see how this ham from Porter Road is coming along. I'll leave a link down below if you want to buy one of these yourself. Um, once again, first taste on it, it was pretty dang good. Pretty delicious ham. So, uh, we'll see how it is all cooked up and glazed and everything like that. So, we'll be back in a while all right the ham is done took about three hours and look at how beautiful this looks got a nice caramely sticky I, I did take a piece there i already tasted it just so you know um it looks delicious it tastes delicious i'll tell you that right now but let's get it out of this roasting pan and onto the carving board Ooh, there we go look at that that looks delicious this part over here with this fat this caramelized let me turn it around and get a little better view of it all these bits here oh can't see that let me look yeah all these bits here see that that's delicious there sticky sticky fatty goodness all right let's give this a slice and we'll see what we're looking at just a beautiful looking ham Slice it thin, you can slice it thick, whatever you want. But we're gonna eat this for dinner tonight. So uh, let me take another piece of this just to see. Again, this is a, the ham was from Porter Road. Um, one nice thing about them too, mm, so good. Um, they ship the hams not frozen, they're thawed. They still stay cold enough in the boxes, they ship them in. Uh, they have some good insulation, good uh, ice packs and everything like that. But you don't have to thaw it out for two, three, four days in the fridge like you would a frozen ham. So that's one thing I really like about Porter Roads is stuff ships, ships fresh. So if you count a last minute, and but I wouldn't wait because they usually sell out of hams. But for future reference, if you count a last minute, you need just a, a nice ham or something for dinner. Porter Roads is a great place to get it. Mm, I'm going to eat more. It's delicious. It might be one of the best hams I've ever had, as far as just the quality of the ham. The glaze is delicious on it. It's sticky, it's sweet, kind of what you want from a glazed ham. Um, I would definitely get one of these again. I might even order another one here uh, in the next couple days to have around for Thanksgiving because it's that good. And I would look forward to eating this again. So uh, if you want a ham, order it now. It'll keep in the fridge just fine for, for a couple weeks. No problem there. If you want to freeze it, go ahead. But it, it should stay fine. It comes all sealed up and everything. So you'll be okay if you order now. They have some different boxes that come with some sausage and bacon for doing breakfast. Or doing uh, like a sausage dressing or bacon wrap Brussels sprouts. Whatever you want to do with stuff like that. But they have a couple uh, like uh, meal boxes. I think they call them. Or you can just buy a ham. And I'll put links to all that in the uh, description down below. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know if you have ever 
had a very, very delicious ham. Because this is this is wonderful. I can't wait to get dinner going and on the table. And I want to keep eating this. So thanks for watching.